this session, I'm going to be talking about the input sheet and how to use it within IPA. Now, one thing to note here is that the input sheet is the first step of a two-step process to analyze a project. If you do not put the address into the input sheet first, you cannot get to the analyze sheet. So if I click on analyze right now, for example, it'll give me an error message basically saying please input a valid address and try again. So it's kind of dummy proof in, in that sense. Also, we have step-by-step -step processes that make it very easy to understand what it is that needs to happen and in what steps it needs to happen in. So why don't we go ahead and start by just entering an arbitrary address. I'm going to make this a note. So you, when you get to this step here, select the investment type and vacancy status. You have two things to do here. You need to tell the system whether it's a note or an REO. Um, in this case, we're going to say note because it's going to unlock some additional questions. And then whether it's vacant or occupied. If you don't know what it is, always select occupied. I'm going to go ahead and put an unpaid principal balance in here of 100,000. This is what the what is owed on the project currently. So I'm going to go ahead and enter the note terms now. The mortgage payment, I'm just going to go ahead and say this is uh, 560. Uh, interest rate, let's just put a 10%. Note term, 360. Original loan balance, let's say the original loan balance was 120. Um, and the loan origination date, let's just say that was 1 1 2006. And the first pay date we're going to say is the same. And the next due date, 1, 1, 2009. Actually, let's put it at 2014. So this is like three years over, overdue. Okay. Once, once you have all of the information in there, you simply click on this analyze button down here or you can click on this one up here and again these steps kind of walk you through the process click analyze after all data has been entered so I'm going to go ahead and click analyze and both of these buttons just so you know do exactly the same thing if for whatever reason you think you might have made a mistake you can check your address in this line right here and if you need to change it for whatever reason go back to the input sheet up here and make your modifications it'll automatically update the analyzer sheet so you don't have to really do anything you can toggle back and forth until you get it uh, exactly right if this address is not right when you go to fetch all and it retrieves information from the internet it won't come in it'll it'll report as not available as na and you'll get an image that basically says it's not available as well so that's pretty much it in a nutshell. This is the input sheet for IPA. I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at support at revivalbrothers.com. Have a good day.